So here's the bump shot. I am absolutely massive. In about half an hour, I'm gonna go and leave and have my 20 week ultrasound. Um, and that will tell me whether I'm having a little boy or a little girl. Um, my email year 10 so I've made me promise that I'm going to do a gender reveal with them next Friday so I'll publish that for you next weekend but I thought we could have a little fun trying to guess the uh, gender of the baby. These are all um, old wives tales. Um, they have very very little scientific backing to them. Um, it's, it's literally a 50 50 chance but I will tell you that um, my husband is one of three boys I have two nephews and I have a son there has not been a girl born for the last 40 years in my husband's family um, it's just all boys 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 so I think it's gonna be another boy my husband thinks it's gonna be another girl my mother-in-law my parents think it's gonna be a girl so let's see what all of the old wives tales have to say um, right, heart rates. The, uh, the, this has absolutely no scientific basis at all. Um, the heart rate is not dependent on gender, but the baby's heart rate, when it was checked at 16 weeks, was 158. So, score one for girl. How am I carrying? I am carrying low and in the front. Um, the reason I am carrying low is because I had a big baby last time who stretched out all my abdominal muscles and then I had a c-section which cut my abdominal muscles so I've absolutely no abdominal muscles at all so of course I'm carrying low because I don't have any muscles to hold the baby up with so I'm carrying low this is a ridiculous one um am I blooming yes or no um I'm gonna do the yes but it's mainly down to the amount of bronzer that I wear. So, again, there's definitely nothing to do with that. Morning sickness. Yes, I had morning sickness. Yes. Yes, I had morning sickness. Didn't have it the first time round, and it was a boy. Um, morning sickness is all to do with the level of hormones. So if you're carrying twins, which I am not carrying twins, in my legs get morning sickness. Because you have more hormones, absolutely nothing to do with the sex. Um, cravings. I'm craving sweet things, but then I'm always craving sweet things. It's like, do I want to eat chocolate? Yes. Yes, I want to eat chocolate. If you gave me the choice of chocolate and crisps, I would pick chocolate. So, this isn't any different to what I was eating before I was pregnant. So, not trusting that one at all. My ding ring. This is ridiculous. This is where you get your wedding ring, you tie it to a piece of your hair, and then you hold it over your belly button and see what happens. Mine went side to side. Um, this is, is, is just absolutely ridiculous. There's no scientific basis for this at all. Um, my skin. My skin has got a lot softer since I have been pregnant. Um, Probably due to the large amounts of vitamins that I've started taking. Like, your hairs get really strong, your nails get really strong, all of this is like pregnancy side effects. Going to be helped by the fact that you're taking a large amount of vitamins. And the training calendar, which um, is based on your age and the month of conception, so no scientific validity at all, says I'm having a girl. Headaches, yes I'm getting loads of headaches. Um, probably because when you're pregnant you need to drink loads and loads and loads and you know sometimes when I teach you I don't just don't get a chance to drink loads and loads and loads because when you drink loads you have to wee loads and I can't really well wee all the time um, so yes I'm getting headaches your first child's first word this is not going to predict the gender of my baby in any way at all but it was dada the reason it was dada is because the D sound, D, is a much easier sound to make than the M sound. Because M, you have to put your lips together, M, where D, you have to go D, D, D. Okay, dada is a much easier word to say than dada, which is why the majority of babies say dada first, then mama. I'm sleeping. This is a ridiculous one. I'm sleeping on my left because when you're pregnant, you are advised to sleep on your left. 
the um, uterus is fed by a major vein that goes on the right side of your body. If you sleep on the right side of your body, um, baby comes down, squashes the artery. Did I say vein before? I meant artery. Um, restricting the blood flow to the uterus. So when you're pregnant, you are supposed to sleep on your left. So again, this one has no scientific validity. But anyway, let's count up the scores. One, two, three, four, five for girl. One, two, three, four six for boy. So in my completely unscientific gender prediction, it is a roughly 50-50 chance as to whether I'm having a boy or a girl, which coincidentally lines up with the actual chances of whether I'm having a boy or a girl or not. Please feel free to guess wildly away in the comments below as to what you think I'm carrying, whether it's a boy or a girl. Um, I'm very big, I'm very, very big. My brand new maternity jeans, I can't see them off anymore. It was great, they were supposed to last me another four and a half months. They don't fit anymore. Um, I'm basically just down to wearing stretchy vest tops because they're the only thing that fits. Um, <laughs> I'm very, very big. There's only one baby in there. Um, yeah, and gender reveal will be next weekend with my year 10 screaming in the background.